Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java Enterprise Programming Tutorial Series video. Today, I will teach you, how to create your first Java Server Faces web application. Friends. JSF is a server-side, user interface, component framework over which Java web applications are developed. JSF framework allows us to create user interfaces with components. Let's move ahead to NetBeans and see how to create your first Java Server Faces web application. Friends In order to create a JSF application, let's create a web application project in NetBeans. Go to File menu and select New Project. New Project dialog box gets open. In the Categories list, select Java Web and select Web Application in the Projects list. Click Next. Moving ahead. New Web Application dialog box gets open. Enter the name of the web application as Welcome App. Click Next. Server and Settings section of the new web application dialog box gets open. Select Glassfish Server 4 as the server. Choose Java EE 7 as Java EE version. The context path of web application is, slash welcome app. Click next. Moving ahead. It asks us to select frameworks. Select checkbox for Java Server Faces framework. Below in the library section choose JSF 2.2. In the configuration tab. Keep JSF serve let URL as, slash faces slash asterisk. Choose page definition language as, face lets. In the components tab, keep things as it is and click finish. In projects tab, welcome app gets created. Open welcome app and you will see web.xml file in web inf folder. Open index.xhtml file to define a simple JSF page. This HTML page has head and body tag with H namespace. It is similar to head and body tag of HTML language. This H namespace belongs to JSF. It's JSF core tag library, having its own custom actions. Let's give this page a title as, index page. In this HTML file, we will create a form, that will hold a label, along with its text box. And a submit button to submit form parameters to requested URL. Let's create a form with H namespace. This form tag will contain H output label which identifies the component the label belongs to, we will see it later. Inside this H output label tag, we provide a label value through H output text. Let the value of attribute be name. Moving ahead. Create H input text element. This element represents a component type that holds a value that is entered by the user. Let's provide it with an ID attribute by value name. It also has value attribute which we will provide later, once we create managed beans. In order to associate or map output label element to input text element. 
output label element has a for attribute. For attributes value, maps or is associated with an input text's ID. Here, we provide for attribute value as name. It associates it to input text with an ID, name. Moving ahead. Provide a line break through BR element. Let's create a submit button through H command button element. Provide it an ID as submit. And value, which is a button text as submit. It also has action attribute which we will provide later, once we create managed beans. Let's move ahead and run index.xhtml. It starts Glassfish server. Deploys welcome app on server. And runs index.xhtml. It displays a label name, along with its text box. Followed by a submit button. Moving ahead. When user hits submit button, name text box value has to be backed by a java bean. JSF provides managed beans for this. Here, managed beans are java beans components, that define properties and functions for UI components on a page. Their main work is to integrate java classes with web pages. They hold data for user interface components, like names value in our case. They also provide functions for UI components, which we will see later. Let's move ahead and create a managed bean. Go to Source Packages. Right click on it, and go to New, Other. New File dialog box gets open. In the Categories list, select Java Server Faces and, select JSF Managed Bean in the File Types list. Click Next. New JSF Managed Bean dialog box gets open. Enter user bean, in the class name text box. Provide a package name as, com.hoverspot.bean. Name of this managed bean is, user bean. This name will be used to find this bean, we will see it later. Provide a scope, say either request or session, let's provide a session for this app. Click finish. User bean, managed bean gets created. It has two annotations such as, at the rate managed bean annotation. And at the rate session scoped. As this user bean will hold form data of index.xhtml page, that is value of name text box. We create a string variable by name, name. And generate its getters and setters. Right click and select insert code. And click on getter and setter option. Generate getters and setters dialog box gets open. Select name variable and click generate. Let's bind this name variable in the user bean, with input text element in the input.html page. Go to input text element and provide an attribute value. In order to bind value of name text box to user bean name variable, we use expression language. It starts with a hash symbol, followed by curly braces. Inside these curly braces we access managed bean by its name as, user bean, and its name property by dot operator. In order to display working of this binding, we move ahead and create a JSF page. Go to web pages. Right click on it, and go to new, other. New file dialog box gets open. In the categories list, select Java server faces and, select JSF page in the file types list. Click next. 
Moving ahead. New JSF page dialog box gets open. Enter file name of JSF page as display. Click finish. Display JSF page gets created. Let's provide a title to it as display message. In the hbody element, we welcome user by its name, which he enters on index.xhtml page. User name will be displayed via managed bean we created. In order to output a text, we use h output text element, which we discussed before. The value to this element will be welcome followed by the name of the user to JSF. In order to access name of the user entered by user on index.xhtml, we use same expression language syntax, such as hash symbol followed by curly braces. Inside curly braces we write user bean dot name to access value of name form parameter through managed bean. Let's run display.xhtml file. It displays welcome to JSF. When user will enter its name on index.xhtml page. It will be backed by managed bean, and finally displayed on display.xhtml page. When user hits submit button, the values of name text box is populated to name property of user bean but it has no way to find where to submit this request. Let's provide a action attribute to command button. The value of action attribute should point to display.xhtml page. As, we discussed it earlier that, managed beans are dedicated beans to a UI page. It helps in backing form parameters, as well as helps in routing from one page to another. Let's see how. The routing from one page to another is provided by a method which returns a string value. Let's create a method by signature, public string display. It returns an string, which is the name of display.xhtml file. In order to call this method from action attribute, we again use expression language. Here it is. Hash symbol followed by curly braces. Inside curly braces we write user bean dot display. It will execute display method of managed bean and return string value as display. This will inform JSF that when user hits submit button, forward its request to display.xhtml page. Let's move ahead and run index.xhtml file. Provide a name in text box as, John. And click on submit. It forwards request to display.xhtml and displays welcome john to jsf let's move ahead and open web.xml file and see how jsf comes into picture you see it has a context param element which describes project stage currently it points to development stage moving ahead it has a servlet and servlet mapping elements which defines a jsf faces servlet the JSF servlet class is Java X dot faces dot web app dot faces servlet. This servlet responds to URL pattern, which has slash faces slash asterisk. When we run index dot xhtml, it has a URL pattern context root slash faces slash index dot xhtml. Thus, 
faces servlet gets invoked and renders XHTML page and its further flow. If we enter John Abraham and hit submit, it displays welcome John Abraham to JSF. Thus, managed beans in a JSF applications plays a very important role. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to create your first Java server faces web application concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.